Welcome back, everybody. This is episode two in the British campaign here on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. If you didn't see the first episode, there's a link in the description. It'll take you back to that first episode. Uh, we are going to continue on now with our very small fleet that we have uh, available to us right now. Let's take a look and see. Right now, there's only one mission available. It's dinner for Admiral. And you can see here, it says the Spanish have taken advantage uh, of our overstretched forces and have captured the crucial supply ship HMS Walpole. Fortunately, the enemy were not expecting such a swift response, and the vessel is only escorted by a pair of ships. So this is cool. This is actually brand new. This was not something that was available on uh, the campaign before, so I don't know what to think of this. Uh, you can follow the orders, uh, or you can go divide and conquer, which means you only get a thousand money and two reputation. Uh, or you can fight the power which is 1,000 money and one reputation. So if you feel like you can't handle the current mission, it looks like you have some other options. But I think we can handle this mission once we get ourselves ready to go. Now, let's take a look real quick at research because there are some research uh, choices available, but all of them cost a lot of money, and I don't necessarily have a lot of money right now. Uh, so let's see where we're at as far as ships go before we go spending anything on research. So we've got the HMS Ferret, which is our flagship right now. Uh, we can upgrade to 9-pounder guns. Uh, let's see how they compare. They do cause more damage than the 6-pounders that I have right now. So let's go ahead and make that upgrade. We have the HMS Alert, which we need a captain for. And let's see who's available here. The red ones are ones that are uh, users who have submitted those names. And the way you got to do that is if you had the Admiral's edition of the game. Uh, being a content creator for this game, they actually gave me the Admiral's edition. So at some point, we will see History God Gaming show up as one of these characters. He showed up in my uh, la in my American campaign as a uh, naval off or a land officer, but very was very quickly killed. So let's hope that doesn't happen again this time. Um, all right, so boarding's really good, but everything else kind of terrible for that commander. Sailing's good there. Uh, no matter who we choose, they're going to be pretty weak. Uh, Nicholas Patton's a little better across the board. So let's go ahead and use him for now. Let's definitely go ahead and upgrade these weapons to ones that have bayonets. And then we're going to max out... Now, these only have four pounder guns, and that's the only thing we're going to be able to do. So no matter what, we're going to have these two small, small ships available to us. All right. So what are the options here? Boarding's really good if we go with that one for a side officer. Um, all right. So let's do that. Let's max them out, too. And then that still leaves us 19,000. So we could actually look and see if there's any better ships we could buy before we go looking at upgrades. Uh, the Admiralty's got some six rates. This is a six race with, with 28 or 26 guns. That might be worth it. That would certainly be an upgrade over what we have. Let's see how many ships we can take into this battle. So we can take two ships. And I feel like the alert is just really not going to be all that beneficial to me. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sell the alert off. It's only a 12-gun ship with four-pounder guns. I feel like it's almost worthless. We won't get a lot of money for it, uh, but we'll turn that around, uh, what little money we get from it, and we will uh, go ahead and... It's only going to be 2100 for that. It's hardly worth it at all, but... Uh, we can turn around then and go ahead and buy one of these six race Cerberus classes. And that's going to be a significant upgrade over what we had. So we'll go ahead and transfer Horatio Nelson over to this new ship. Uh, we get to assign two additional officers. None of them are particularly great. We have 8,000 still, so let's go ahead and do this. And I think we can pretty well max this one out. Not enough weapons, so we got to find a different kind of weapon. Oh, boy. Nothing with with uh, muskets, unfortunately. Or with uh, bayonets. So that's the reality we're facing. I mean, we could go with the bayonets and only go with 175 crew members, which kind of stinks, but I'm not entirely sure what else we could do in this situation unless we go into the ferret and change what she has. But... Uh, let's go ahead. We got to. Oh, we still got to buy cannon for this thing. Okay. Nine pounders. 
just barely enough available to get the nine pounders on there. I'm not going to worry about the names on these ships because eventually when we get some decent ships that we're actually going to keep for a while, we'll start using the, uh, the patron names, but let's go ahead and dive into this battle. Okay, here we go. Captain, we have arrived in the designated area without any trouble. So here's what we're facing. A Spanish squadron has been sighted. It's our merchant man, the Walpole, under a Spanish flag, along with a small escort. They are attempting to reach cover of the guns of a nearby outpost. So I, I vaguely remember this mission. We need to uh, deal with these guys before they get too close to shore and get the cover of, I believe there's some shore batteries right there. So we don't want them getting close to that shore battery. But the, the mission here, uh, at least one of these ships has to be destroyed and we have to capture the Walpole. So we can't just kind of let them get away without a fight. But we also can't get so wrapped up in trying to kill both of them that we completely ignore what we're supposed to be doing. So the wind's over this way, so we kind of want to stay to the side of them if we can. But they're going to make this difficult for sure. I'm going to try to get up here closer to him. Looks like the ferret's faster. No, oh, they're going to they're going to go way down there and make me make me chase him down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send ferret over here. We're just going to go ahead and deal with the walpole, take her, and then we will go after and try to sink one or both or capture one or both of those ships as long as we can stay out of range of the shore batteries, but I know they're going to probably park in real close to them. So let's bring Ferret around this way. And then we're going to wait for Walpole to come up alongside of us. Rather than trying to swing around and catch up. Let's just go ahead and anchor Ferret completely. No, stay facing that way. Don't fire. I don't want to damage this thing or put it in bad shape somehow. Okay. So let's start heading over toward him. I think moderate should be out of range of the shore batteries right there. Nope, not you. I guess we are going to have to swing around because this guy's going to make this as difficult and anguish-filled as possible. Oh. So we caused some crew shock by damaging him there. All right, let's slow down because it looks like the other guys are coming back around on moderate now. Come on, let's get boarded. Probably just going to end up killing all his crew rather than capturing it traditionally. All right, here we go. So pretty good first first shots on the Santa Rita. All right. Walpole's just going to end up surrendering by losing its entire crew. It'd be nice to hurry up and finish them off so I can get Ferret over here with me. I don't know why we're not capturing them. There we go. All right, so here's what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and... Why are we taking off? Capture this ship. My goodness. Is it that hard? Actually, let's turn this way. So now they're getting out away from shore. We got to make sure they don't just get away completely. 
Because we do have to take out one of those ships. But now we're going against the wind. And these are going to be fast little suckers. So I can see that's what they're going to attempt to do here. They would not board him before, but we should be able to do this now. We're going directly at the wind at the moment. All right, he's, he's turning around, okay. This way and then come back around. Alright, here's a chance to board one or both of these guys. I'm a little too far past him to board him now. So maybe we'll try to board the Santa Rita instead. Come on. Ah, the wind is not my friend today. Slow down. He's going for my sails. Got you now, San Juan Batista. So there's that. We'll get them away. That leaves us only 103 men on the Santa Rita, though. There's Walpole. Finally got them. Which now brings the ferret back available to come deal with these guys. So let's get Walpole out of here. See, these are pretty simple missions starting out. You're only dealing with a couple of ships. It certainly gets infinite, infinitely more complicated later on. But really, at this point, we could just sink Santa Rita and be done with this. I'm, I'm a little worried San Juan Batista is going to sink before we can finish this mission. So let's see if we can hurry up and deal with Santa Rita before that happens. Okay, it looks like we got a got a handle on the water situation on San Juan Batista. Santa Rita's flooding now. really don't have the manpower to try and board Santa Rita, so let's just try and get a kill. I mean, we've already won the mission at this point. See if we can get him behind him. be able to try and capture this guy. We're going to lose some manpower in the process. Oh, he's going to run now. Beautiful. Alright, this should do it. So yeah, it definitely helped having that big, second bigger ship. I don't know that I would have done this effectively 
if I'd had to rely on that 12 gun ship as my second one. And this should set us up nicely for the campaign to come with the missions that are ahead. We're definitely going to want to look at some upgrades. All right. That could have could not have gone much better given what we worked with. We have two new 26 gun ships that we captured. So looking back here now, you can see the HMS Moderate needs some repair. It's still probably our best ship. We've got two new trophies, and we've got the points to add them to our fleet. But for the time being, let's go ahead and hit the next stage so we can see what we're dealing with here. So we've got the priority mission, which is another uh, sea mission. We've got snakes and powder, which is going to be a, a land mission that's got a nice reward to it. Uh, voices is a side mission. We want to do all the side missions we can because those really become lucrative. Um, we don't have a lot of money right now. Uh, so I'm thinking what I'd really like to do is probably sell off the HMS Ferret at this point for whatever that's worth, and not really a lot, but we still we don't we're not going to need it. Uh, we're going to need the Astart because we're going to need the troop ships uh, for that next land mission, which I might do the land mission first. Uh, but that's something to be decided later on. Let me know your thoughts about all that. If you would, drop a like. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, check out my other channel as well. There's a link in the description below. It's all about history vlogs and uh, on-location videos. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you again soon.